Imagine a vast, complex universe filled with galaxies, stars, and planets swirling in a cosmic dance. Now, zoom in and look closely at the intricate patterns and structures within each galaxy. What if I told you that these patterns and structures could be explained by a simple equation? Enter the Mandelbrot set, a fascinating mathematical concept discovered by Benoit Mandelbrot in the late 1970s. At its core, the Mandelbrot set is formed by iteratively applying a small equation to a complex number and checking if the result remains bounded or not. The result is a beautiful and intricate fractal pattern that appears to go on forever, displaying self-similarity at different scales. But how does this relate to astronomy? Well, it turns out that the Mandelbrot set's mathematical properties have been used to model and analyze the complex structures of the universe, from individual galaxies to galaxy clusters. The similarity is not just a coincidence, but a reflection of the underlying laws of the universe. The Mandelbrot set, with its infinite complexity and beauty, serves as a metaphor for the patterns we observe in nature, from the branching of trees to the formation of coastlines. In this video, we will take a journey through the basics of the Mandelbrot set and its connection to astronomy. We will explore how the set's mathematical properties have been used to understand the structure of the universe, from the smallest galaxies to the largest clusters. Get ready to be amazed by the infinite complexity and beauty of the universe, and how the Mandelbrot set can help us understand it. Sit back, relax, and let's explore the wonders of the universe. The Mandelbrot set is a mathematical object that has captured the imagination of mathematicians and computer scientists alike since its discovery in the late 1970s. It is named after Benoit Mandelbrot, a French mathematician who first introduced the concept of fractals to the mathematical community. However, the history of the Mandelbrot set can be traced back to the early 20th century and the work of several mathematicians. One of the earliest mathematicians to work on the Mandelbrot set was Gaston Julia, a French mathematician who was active in the early 20th century. Julia studied complex functions and is best known for his work on the Julia sets, a family of fractals closely related to the Mandelbrot set. In fact, the Mandelbrot set can be thought of as the boundary of the Julia set for a specific complex function. Another important figure in the history of the Mandelbrot set is John Hubbard, an American mathematician who worked on complex dynamics in the 1970s. Hubbard was one of the first mathematicians to realize the importance of the Mandelbrot set, and he developed many of the fundamental ideas and techniques that are still used today in the study of this object. However, it was Benoit Mandelbrot who is often credited with the discovery and popularization of the Mandelbrot set. Mandelbrot was born in Poland in 1924 and studied mathematics at an arithmetic-based high school in France. He worked as a research scientist at IBM for many years and was one of the first mathematicians to use computers to study complex functions. Mandelbrot coined the term fractal in 1975 to describe complex shapes that exhibit self-similarity at different scales. He became interested in the study of the Mandelbrot set in the late 1970s, after seeing computer-generated images of the set that were produced by Robert W. Brooks and Peter Matelski at IBM. This paper introduced many of the key ideas and concepts associated with the Mandelbrot set, including the idea that the escape time algorithm, which is used to generate images of the set, the Mandelbrot set quickly became one of the most popular objects in mathematics, attracting attention from both mathematicians and computer scientists. The first computer program to generate images of the set was written in 1981 by Michael Barnsley, a mathematician at Georgia Tech. Since then, the Mandelbrot set has been studied extensively by mathematicians and computer scientists. It has been used to study a wide variety of topics, 
including chaos theory, dynamical systems, and the geometry of complex numbers. It has also inspired countless works of art, including paintings, sculptures, and music. Today, the Mandelbrot set continues to be a topic of active research in mathematics and computer science. Researchers are still discovering new properties and features of the set, and new algorithms and techniques are being developed to study it more efficiently. As computers continue to advance, it is likely that we will discover an even more fascinating aspect of this remarkable object. The Mandelbrot set is a famous fractal in mathematics that is defined as a set of complex numbers c, for which the function f of z equals z squared plus c does not diverge when iterated from z equals zero. In other words, the Mandelbrot set is the set of complex numbers c such as that a sequence of values remains bounded. To better understand this definition, we need to first understand what a complex number is. A complex number is a number of the form a plus bi, where a and b are real numbers and i is the imaginary unit, which is defined as the square root of negative 1. The real part of a complex number is the number a, and the imaginary part is the number b. The Mandelbrot set is defined in terms of these complex numbers. The Mandelbrot set is often visualized as a picture in the complex plane, where the horizontal axis represents the real part of C, and the vertical axis represents the imaginary part of C. The points in the complex plane that belong to the Mandelbrot set are colored black, while the points that do not belong to the set are colored in different colors, based on how quickly the sequence of values diverges. One of the most interesting properties of the Mandelbrot set is its correspondence with the Julia sets. For every point C in the Mandelbrot set, there is a corresponding Julia set that is connected to the main cardioid of the Mandelbrot set. The Julia sets are also fractals, and they are generated by the iteration of a complex function that is related to the function used to define the Mandelbrot set. The Mandelbrot set has several important properties that have been studied extensively by mathematicians. One of the most famous properties of the set is the presence of the main cardioid, which is a large bulbous shape at the center of the set. The main cardioid is connected to the period two bulbs, which are the two smaller bulbs that lie on either side of the main cardioid. The main cardioid is defined by the equation c equals negative one fourth, and it is a number of interesting properties. For example, the main cardioid is locally connected, which means that it does not have any holes or disconnected pieces. It is also infinitely indifferentiable, which means that it can be approximated by polynomials of arbitrarily high degree. The period two bulbs are defined by the equation c equals negative two and c equals one fourth, and they are connected to the main cardioid by thin filaments known as the necklace or mini Mandelbrots. These bulbs have a number of interesting properties as well. For example, the bulb centered at c equals negative 2 is the only period 2 bulb that is completely disconnected from the rest of the set. In addition to the main cardioid and period 2 bulbs, the Mandelbrot set also contains a number of other interesting structures, including spirals, spiraling filaments, and satellite bulbs. These structures are often referred to as decorations of the Mandelbrot set and they can be seen in the intricate and beautiful images of the set that have become famous in popular culture. The Mandelbrot set is a mathematical object that has fascinated researchers in many fields, including astronomy. The set's intricate patterns and complex structures are similar to those found in many natural phenomena, making it a potentially useful tool for understanding the universe. While the Mandelbrot set itself does not provide any direct insight into the physical world, its fractal nature has been used to analyze and model a variety of phenomena in astronomy. One way in which the Mandelbrot set appears in the universe is through the fractal structure of galaxies. Many galaxies exhibit a self-similar structure, where smaller structures within the galaxy resemble a larger structure of the galaxy as a whole. This is similar to the self-similar structure of the Mandelbrot set, 
where smaller structures within that set resemble the larger structures of the set as a whole. This has led researchers to investigate the possibility that the Mandelbrot set could be used to model the fractal structure of galaxies. In addition to its potential as a modeling tool, the Mandelbrot set has also been used to study the dynamics of celestial bodies. One example is the study of the motion of asteroids in the asteroid belt. The asteroid belt is a region of the solar system that contains numerous small bodies that orbit the sun. The gravitational interactions between these bodies can be modeled using the Mandelbrot set, allowing researchers to better understand the dynamics of the asteroid belt and the behavior of individual asteroids within it. The Mandelbrot set has also been used to study the large-scale structure of the universe. The set's fractal structure is similar to the distribution of matter in the universe on larger scales. This has led researchers to investigate the possibility that the Mandelbrot set could be used to model the large-scale structures of the universe and to understand the distribution of matter within it. While the Mandelbrot set has potential applications in astronomy, it is important to note that it is not a formula for understanding the universe. The set is a mathematical object that is useful for modeling certain phenomena, but it does not provide any direct insight into the physical world. Additionally, the set's fractal nature means that it is infinite in size, which limits its usefulness for modeling finite physical systems. Despite this, however, its potential uses in the future are still being explored. Here are some potential ways in which the Mandelbrot set could be used in the future. Art and Design The Mandelbrot set's intricate patterns and complex structures have inspired artists and designers for decades. As technology continues to improve, it is possible that new tools will be developed to create even more intricate and complex fractal art and designs. Cryptography The Mandelbrot set has already been used to generate pseudo-random numbers, which can be used for cryptographic purposes. As cryptography becomes more important in an increasingly digital world, the Mandelbrot set could play a larger role in ensuring secure communications. Machine Learning the Mandelbrot set's fractal nature has also been used in machine learning applications. For example, researchers have used fractal-based models to improve the accuracy of facial recognition algorithms. As machine learning continues to advance, it is possible that the Mandelbrot set could be used in even more sophisticated applications. Quantum computing. Finally, the Mandelbrot set could also play a role in the development of quantum computing. Fractals have already been used in quantum computing algorithms, and it is possible that the Mandelbrot set's fractal nature could be used to create new quantum computing algorithms or improve existing ones. The Mandelbrot set has already had a significant impact on mathematics, art, and other fields, and its potential uses in the future are still being explored. As technology continues to improve and our understanding of fractals and complex systems deepens, it is likely that the Mandelbrot set will continue to be a source of inspiration and innovation for generations to come.